Don't get caught without these three PLC requirements. If you are looking to purchase a PLC system, there are three key components that you should be looking for. If your current system does not contain these features, you should replace it, that one that does as soon as possible. The three most important features you should be looking for in your new PLC system are the open communication protocols, the ability to integrate easily with other systems, and the ability to have remote access. Without these three important requirements, your PLC system is going to be far less effective and be more expensive to operate than it needs to be. The industrial internet of things is essential and the ability to take advantage of this starts with the hardware that you specify for your PLC control. PLCs are now considered edge devices. This means that information should be sent and received to the PLC controller when it is required. We are all data companies that need the information for continued improvement. PLC capabilities and expansion. Along with some expansion capabilities, a PLC should be capable of handling a higher input and output counts than traditional devices. Given the tendency of new high-tech devices to already have programmable logic controllers integrated in them, the PLC should be able to support input and output counts greater than conventional machines. This not only prolongs the life of the PLC, but also gives you, the user, money over time. In order to avoid purchasing redundant expansion cards and hardware, buy a programmable logic controller supports a sufficient number of inputs and output points at the start. The speed and size of PLC systems no longer match the old saying of the larger the I.O., the slower the scan time. How fast do you need it to be? Modern PLCs have multiple CPU or central processing units to handle a variety of tasks, so speed is no longer an issue. PLC capabilities involve just more than the physical input and output or I.O. Look for a manufacturer or distributor that is supporting the hardware and software through updates. Many new features of programmable logic controllers require firmware, which is the PLC operating system, to keep them current. How long has it been since your manufacturer updated and improved your system? PLC Communication Protocols Communication protocols are necessary for the success of a PLC, and you'll want to know if your controller supports common industrial protocols like Modbus or Ethernet IP. Dedicated protocols in the PLC will limit your connectivity to additional sensors, systems, and devices. Investing in an internet connected system and don't know what kind of protocol do you need? A safe bet is Modbus TCP. It's tried and true, pretty reliable, and you can update over time as needed. Recent protocols in demand are MQTT, an IoT protocol in short. This, this is used as the Internet of Things hub protocol for publishing and subscribing. This protocol can incorporate a unified namespace for all your overall business using the MQTT broker. The PLC will be the MQTT client that will publish and subscribe data to the namespace of the business. Communication is required for HMI or Human Machine Interface. The protocol used and method of connecting will vary with different PLC manufacturers, but in general, they will have the most common PLC manufacturers protocol drivers and some of the common industrial protocols. PLC programming software. Ladder Logic is the most common programming language for programmable logic controllers. The programming software for the PLC may end up costing you more than the hardware itself after the purchase and annual maintenance fees. The hardware is meant to last for decades of industrial use without the need to program the controller at the initial integration. PLC programming software should be free. However, free software sometimes has limitations and costs more than it should. In the end, consider that most programming languages are either free or inexpensive, which means you don't have to spend money on something you don't that won't help you in the long run. Ensure you know what you're getting before purchasing or investing time in PLC programming software. Testing your PL PLC programming software before any money or annual fees are charged is critical in determining what is best for your environment. Many manufacturers will have a free limited download of the programming software. Some will even have a completely free no limits programming software. This is determined how the PLC manufacturer goes to market and how they expect to make their money. If you have to pay a fee, then I would suggest you contact the manufacturer or the distributor of the product. 
They will often loan you a copy of the PLC programming software to evaluate. What PLC should I buy? Some of the most popular controllers for industrial automation uh, applications are made by Alan Bradley or Rockwell Automation, Siemens, Mitsubishi, Omron, Automation Direct, and GE Fanuc. The first thing you should do is make sure that the controller you're considering supports the items listed above. If it doesn't, don't bother shopping further. There are too many other good options to spend time on a system that isn't capable, capable of what you need. This site, ACC Automation, has a few different PLC manufacturers that I believe give the best, best value for the investment. Automation Direct with Click or Coil, Do More, and Productivity Family of PLC controllers are putting the above items in their products for you. They sell the sell and support PLC hardware directly to you without markup from distribution. Programming software often is free because of their marketing. Support is sometimes overlooked. I would strongly suggest calling the manufacturer or distributor and trying out their technical support. Remember, this is the relationship between the PLC manufacturer and the agents with you. The choice is up to you on the PLC purchase and investment. You should be realistic about how much time you have to learn new systems and train others in the company to use them. The future now is communication, expandability, and access are vital in data collection. Your PLC Edge devices should fit within your future plans. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.